sweet friends. Today we are going to be reading a fictional book about bats. This one is called Bats at the Beach by Brian Lies. Now fictional means that this book is not based on real life. This book is just for fun and it's just for us to enjoy. Let's get started. Sun slips down and all is still and soon we can't tell sky from hill. Now from barn and cave and rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter as sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out! Tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, trowels, banjos, blankets, books, and towels strapped on backs and under wings. Have we forgotten anything? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees, flying fast to wet our feet where land and foamy ocean meet. At last we hear the deep bass thump as waves on seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below, we pull wings in, and down we go. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel warm sand beneath our feet. Quick, set up, spread blankets on sand. We want to get going when fun is at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the suntan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before night's through. Like playing with the stuff we find, which others must have left behind. Burying friends from Chintany, we're scratchy where no sand should be. Making friends from other places with different foods and different faces. Or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep as old bats lie in the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wingboat races with salty sea spray in our faces. Now it's munch time. What's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats. Beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs. Crickets, moths, and pickled slugs. Damselflies or salted skeeters. No room here for picky eaters. Pugmalos toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean tricks. And later on, though stomachs hurt, we'll try the snack bar for dessert. Quick, don't miss it! The old bats are singing the bat songs that they learned when they were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games. As embers pop within the flames, little ones climb onto leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then, east sky purples, sun is coming. A last few notes of banjo strumming bring our beach night to an end, so say farewell to newfound friends. Pack our things up, shake the sand out, give the noisy gills a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away, we've got to get home before it's day. Flutter homeward, drained and weary, small bats doze off, tired and teary. Daybirds start to chirp and peep, now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh, now sleep. The moon's out of reach. The night was just perfect for bats at the beach. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Have the best day.